by Forever the Sickest Kids. corner of Texas Street and Main Street in Crowley, Texas. This is another episode of The Local Legend Show, episode number 028. And we are here this morning. It's Central Standard Time. like to set the record straight here in Crowley, Texas. And the weather is about 86 (laughs) degrees and sunny. We got a very good show for you today. James, how are you feeling today, man? I feel great. I think the real question is, how do you feel? Because it's good to actually hear your voice. Yeah, welcome just to the... Watch you right on an iPad and then you have to <laughs> read your chicken scratch. Welcome back to the world of the talking. Well, yeah. we're going to talk about the experience that you had last week because you were basically okay. my interpreter. And, uh, okay. oh, sorry, I was turning the wrong this one up. Crank levels. levels. Steven, how are you doing this morning? I'm swell. How are you doing? Dude. I like this handshake vibe. Can I get on that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Steven, oh, hey. Steven, meet James. Shane, meet meet James. James. And if you're Shane, listening, I'm Jonathan. If you're listening on Spotify later on down the road or iTunes, we're shaking hands right now. Everybody's yeah. shaking hands. We're actually touching. Here's what's cool about this: is some of you guys are tuned in this morning, and it is actually not morning where you are, but rather evening in Australia. So shout out to all the Australia, New Zealand listeners. Yeah, got Aussie Z. Shout New out, Zealand guys. Listen, listeners on this thing. Oh yeah, yeah. we're wow. hu- we're oh, huge yeah. in Canberra. Wow, yeah, last it really is. <laughs> last obscure. week we had bigger than you think. <laughs> Very obscure. Last week we had uh, some listeners from Australia, like two, uh, two weeks, two weeks ago. ago. Yeah, last you. week we uh, we were shouting out to those people. Mm-hmm. It was kind of fun, you know. It was like it was like holy cow, we have people listening across the pond, and we usually talk about the UK is across the pond, but this was like this was Aussie town, man. People yeah. rocking it in Oz. But maybe Sick. some maybe we t- that's touch heaps some tight. Yeah. That is very heaps tight. Very heaps. <laughs> heaps cool. I felt like they had heaps of manatees over there, and I didn't want to. Disappointed. Didn't wanna, yeah, I didn't There's want to disappoint anybody. Manatees so like, in Australia? I was wrong, dude. It's not manatees no. that they have heaps of. It's dugongs. Yeah. I don't think there's heaps of manatees anywhere. I think they're going extinct. I think. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think very good point. <laughs> I think little John boats have <laughs> yeah, been, say, trolling the, motors have ended the uh, the invention of the outboard moving. motor has uh, yeah. hurt the manatee. Well, before we Google how many <laughs> manatees are left in our large aquatic <laughs> region called the ocean of the world, let's give the a shout ocean. out to those people who are listening this morning live. <laughs> All right. We have many different platforms you can consume this on, but the most fun for the live viewers is Facebook Live. So if you want to get hey. into the conversation, all you got to do is drop an L in the comments below or drop an emoji in the comments below. And I just learned something. It's not nope. called emojicons. That is actually a collaboration of two words. So there is no emojicon. What? I it's emojis or emoticons. So fantastic. So we're talking about emojis this morning. So get your emojis in the comments below. I thought we discovered that like episode four. I said previously. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. you said I oh, just okay. learned. Have well, you guys done this before? No, no. This is I'm episode sorry. 28. Okay. Yeah. No, this. Episode, every so episode are... feels like the first one. I'll be down here if <laughs> anyone needs it. feels like yeah. the first time. All right. So our first shout out goes to Mr. Josh Pagan. Josh Pagan. <laughs> And uh, you know what's cool about these shout outs? We got two more to do this morning, so get your comments below. If you want a shout out, you can go back to iTunes to the podcast app and listen yeah. to your name shouted out to on an actual podcast episode of yeah. the Local Legend Show. And you can listen to as many times as you wanted. Like For free. 100 times in a row, like you hear your name said. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Number <Okay>. two <laughs> shout out this morning, Mr. Nick Good. Hey, Nick. 
How did they get on this this shout out thing? Did they? Uh, they the had to drop an team. emoji in the comments oh, here that, live. Okay. Yeah, and Nick Good actually dropped two Shane Blay biceps in the emojis below, oh, but yeah. that was pre tattoo day. So thank you for those. Nick. Pre. Yo, my mother in law is watching this. Sess Buckley. Why don't you give the third hey, shout Sess. out to her? Hey, Look Sess. right here, Shane. <laughs> oh. Hey, mom and mom. Whoa, these. DMCA strike. There it is. He said. He said, "Hey, mom and mom, that was awesome." Yeah. Um. I j- that was my wife's sp- not watching this, but oh. Oh. <laughs> she'll be in here. And, I think uh, she's uh, nothing. Go ahead. No. Uh, her and uh, James's <laughs> wife went out pretty late last night, so I don't yeah. Know if she's diabetes. <laughs> is there something in the keto realm last night that I need to know about? I started keto yesterday, and my what? wife did not. Yeah, Whoa. I think she might have had some. She was cars. like standing in the kitchen eating chips when I got home. <laughs> That's not okay. I was like, so I guess you're not in doing your this face. yet. <laughs> in your face. She, goes, she had a random day. So uh, my wife, Kelsey, had a jury duty yesterday. So brag. She Sweet got, brag. Yeah, she got d- released at like 1030. And nice. you don't have to go to work to have to pay you for that day. Well, Six bucks. Right. Yeah. Kelsey, if you're watching, ago, yeah. teach us how to get that so we can get out of work tomorrow. I think yeah, you just have to no register doubt. to vote. Isn't that how you get on the Yeah, yes. she well she got called last year, so she's had like run of bad luck with jury duty. So anyway, she every two years. she like called me. Mm-hmm. She was like, "Hey, what uh kind of what are you doing today?" I was like, "Working all day?" Like what I normally do? Yeah, so anyway, but her and Allie went out as uh, Shane's wife and just got I think they uh had drinks all day and Were they just, day drinking? I think so. Oh, no. I think they just talked all day. It was good. I'm sure it was great. Yeah. Well, anyway, the show's about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving right along. We got some comments going on today. Shane by and, uh, proxy. Am I going to get nodules if I... Get yeah, that, that has nodules, nodules in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those are an STD, Too bro. soon. Uh, but Shane Blay did allude to what? probably the reason I got nodules on my vocal cords. What, <laughs> yeah, what you're healing is this old G chord honer, 1940s. You know, harmonica new? that I found in a house, like, so I shouldn't know, have blown on this. Brand new, those mm. things are about 140 mm. bucks. Really? 140 bucks wow. for a brand new one. So imagine one pre World War II. Yeah, it's got to be worth at least. This wood right here is very well worn, and it's pre World War II. You think the rust in that wow. thing is what messed your throat up? <laughs> Quite possibly. You can see the rust right inside along. It has yeah. nothing to do with with touring. G for major 10 years. or E minor for hey. all those theory boys. Oh, for all goodness. those theory boys, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, let's go through the comments for just a minute. Uh, you know, we got Shane Blay watching, but what's cool is he's actually sitting here too. That's so, who this is. Yeah, yeah he's, wow. this is. You told me to do that. You know, that's so cool. Let's <laughs> do that. You can do that. This is amazing, and you could learn from Shane here how to be watching and also be in the podcast. It's kind of telepathic, I think. Is that the word, yeah. Stephen? Uh, inception loops. Sort of. Omni science, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Omniscient. It's like you're here, but you're also in there. Yeah. You're omnipresent. <laughs> 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 did you just and back did you on just inhale a harmonica? Strike. Okay, we're uh, having some wow, pathogens so in there from nineteen. Wow. Never sucked on a pre-war harmonica. <laughs> <He's> right. just, <laughs> Jonathan just contracted Spanish flu. Okay. Sorry. Seth Buckley says, "Looking good, guys!" Exclamation point. Shout out to Seth Buckley this morning. That's my mother-in-law. By the way. Hey. Oh. Yeah. So you got mother and mother-in-law? No, my mom. Oh my. She's not up yet. Okay, mom's waking up. So Randy Irwin is watching, which hey. we knew there was a hundred percent chance of Randy today. One hundred percent Randy. Sorry, dude. Sabra. Kyle oh. Chris Jers Bone said, "Winky face emoji." Glad you can talk again, Jonathan. So thank you, Chris. And by the way, let's what? just set the record straight. Let's set it straight. Do it. I was told that I had to go on uh, vocal rest, and I was thinking yeah. it was going to be two weeks, and yeah. it ended up. After a week, I was able to test my vocal cords and and kind of put on my own jurisdiction of that, and I. A uh, yeah. song came on the radio, kind of a high range piece, and I sang, and I was like, "Wow, a you're week like, of this did you're it!" Like, cowboy, take <laughs> me away, wow. fly this girl is high. Can you sing yet? Have you tried? The wild blue. You want to do some some harmony Set practice? Set me I free, I... oh I pray. That was pretty high. Yeah, so that's that one good. Done. So yeah, I just and that wasn't even falsetto. I got somewhere. It was all know? head voice. The sad thing is. It's better be said. James had to be with me yeah. almost 12 of the 18-hour working days with pen and scratch paper in tow. Uh-huh. I would write it to James, and he would interpret it. Yeah. Funny story, though. We're, we're like on the phone uh, with a very important client, and yeah. my wife and I, she was doing the James Irwin. She was like interpreting, and I was like, she's kind of being funny. Like I would say, hey... You're closing next week, and she go, "Hey, you're closing next week." <laughs> was like, That's not client. how I would say it. Yeah, to the client. <laughs> and so I wrote out, "He is a billionaire," and she goes, "He is a billionaire." <laughs> <laughs> oh. You 
sports. And I'm like, like the San Diego moment yeah. on Anchorman. It was exactly that. And You're so, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No! I thought you had that on deck, just ready oh, to go. What if I did? <laughs> and the guy was like, do. Darth, no. You can imagine how that guy felt in that moment. He was yeah. like, uh, I don't think you, I am. That's none of your business. Yeah, kind of. So. But, uh, that was That's a funny cool. story from last week, but I've been released to speak a week early, so I was supposed to be on 14 days of this. Uh, my sister and James and Stephen, both who work closely with me, were like, I can't, I don't think I can take another week of this. So True story. Uh, it went on. Uh, I start vocal rehabilitation, Shane, on Thursday of next week. What's that going to entail? You Melissa know? Cross DVDs. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> a lot of throat coat tea. <laughs> Actually, go into sessions, me, me, gargling whiskey, momo. yeah, gargling and such. But she told me, my vocal coach told me that you have a bone here in your body. It's the only bone Hyoid not bone. attached to anything. What? Really? How'd you? You just knew that off the top of your head? Hyoid. Hyoid. Wow. Yeah. wow. It's not the only one because there are also the uh, three inner ear bones. Oh. Golly, dude. Wow. You're gonna see Shane. You're gonna get to know Stephen very quickly. Encyclopedia. This is good. Yeah, yeah he's I a, like that. It's, you're just a, a, an encyclopedia of knowledge. I'm a bear trap of useless information. Okay, like so Kevin Adona <laughs> says, hey, Shane, exclamation point, exclamation point, hey, smiley man. face. So Kevin's in here. Paula Cooper says, Carla Elise, you're probably the only one that remembers the tenor sax, smiley face. She's uh, referencing, yeah, that who's, I used to Who's play Paula? Tenor. That's my mom. No, I knew that. I was just... That's my real mom. She's in here. You can't tell me what to do. She You're not did. my real mom. But Paula can. Justin Smith has she a can. question for Shane. And before we ask Justin's question, <clears throat> Shane Jesse Blay, uh -huh. stage stage right guitarist? No, yeah. Yep, stage for right. For O Sleeper. So he's vocals and shreds for O Sleeper. Big time shreds. <clears throat> and O Sleeper just got back from tour. Tell us about that. Yeah, we did. Uh, it was either 54 days with 50 shows or 50 days with 46 shows. I can't remember, but. It was, it was more days than shows. Unbelievable. Yeah. No days off. Oh, man. Y'all didn't have a single was, day off? We had the four days off, but they were all drives to get to... Next venue. Oh, it was like Denver yeah. to Spokane. Or... That wasn't a day off between like San Diego and Anaheim where you can no. go to the beach and just kind of screw off. And... Nope. See, nope. that's what people wonder that haven't toured before. They're like, what do y'all do on your days off? Do you get to go like tour the White House? It's and a drive? total party the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the driver's seat. I like that. <laughs> yes. Shane, Shane posted a thing on one of his Facebook stories that said 90% of tour and it's just like a road, a desert. McDonald's oh yeah, and a gas yeah. station. Right, right. Unbelievable. Q, the local QT trucks. Dude, the Emory guys are super into McDonald's. Oh, really? is that who y'all toured with? Yeah, we, we, the last little leg of the run was with Hawthorne Heights and oh. Emory. Oh, man, I loved Emory. Dude, we toured with Hawthorne Heights. I love those guys. We did the whole yeah, work cool. tour with them. <clears throat> Carla Elise says, I've known Shane since fifth grade. He has always been an awesome guy. Carla. Wrong. Very musically talented. <laughs> He played tenor sax and band with me, smiley face, period. So. Wait, I know, Kara. Wait a minute. I haven't seen her in about 18 years. I've but. known you for 20 years, and I never knew you played the tenor sax. Is a that a Wait a statement? second. Are, are, How would I ever tell you that information, bro? I don't you know. You would use that for me. When does that come that up in conversation? Just like, <laughs> that's it. That's if it. You can do Jeez. this, and you never Jeez. told people? I couldn't do that, man. But okay. I'm sure I can figure it out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Little known fact, uh... You know my mom, kind of, and you guys have met my mom. My mom played the Carla. sax growing when I was growing up. So like Carla plays the saxophone. Which one? There's I don't three. know. One of them. Probably got <laughs> the small one. I mean, probably, small lady. Yeah. Is there but a I soprano remember, sax? There's a soprano yeah. sax. Soprano. It's the one that looks uh, like a clarinet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She plays That's the one that looks the, like the curl Kenny one. Kenny G plays the Yeah, he also sax. plays the alto and the tenor. Yeah, well, but, but he's well known. Like, yeah, he, the yeah. careless whisper bits, tenor sax. Really? That's awesome. It's got that Soprano sax, excuse me. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, so she played this. You know, that's not super important. But no, that's cool. But yeah, I played random. saxophone, dude. Wow. Do, do you still own one? No. Okay. If I found one, would you take it back up? No, it's really gross, dude. The the reed. it's a woodwind. The reed is yeah. disgusting. You want to suck on this? <laughs> that's a woodwind, also. I already did, kind of. For those of you wondering, I just offered him a 1940s. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you offered. <laughs> All, All right. right. Listen at a later date. My, uh, my uh, interest you uh, in the 1940s <laughs> harmonica. <laughs> I sucked on that harmonica. <laughs> I sucked on that harmonica, and I got something lodged in my vocal folds that's driving me nuts. So we'll look for that. Later. World War One shrapnel. Yeah, you're, absolutely. You're, yeah, your your doctor's gonna be like, "Wow, you took nine steps back." <laughs> so we're gonna take another month we gotta, off of. We gotta cut the whole head off. You Sorry. Yeah. Rust in oh your my throat. gosh, you have rust in your throat. It looks like it's from the '40s. We did a DNA test. <laughs> DNA test on the rust. carbon dating. <laughs> carbon this. dating. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, Clarence Fajardo gives three rock fists this morning. So, Clarence, thanks for tuning Yo. in. Carlene Chase gives an alien emoji. Brutal. And Kyle Blanchard says, hey, buddy, exclamation points with two Caucasian rock fists. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Love the choice. Love the choice. <laughs> Jacob Claude Whoa. Felter says who, question mark? He's a good dude. He is a good dude. Shout out to, <clears throat> to him. And Kevin Adona says, hey, Shane, double exclamation point and a smiley. Cute. Stephen Brown <laughs> says tenor sax. Did I say tenor sax? He did. And J. Nan Warren you Brown said, said says tenor. Jeopardy exclamation point. I think that's to you, Stephen. Yes, that's my mother, since you, we're talking about mothers. So you think you could go on Jeopardy and succeed? I think I could go on Jeopardy in place. Okay. Really? I might, I might be one of those people that's like, oh, I had fun, Alex. I had fun. We'll <laughs> take $300. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking away with $1,000. Because my, my uh, philosophy on Jeopardy is... You know, Final Jeopardy, you go all in. You go ballsy. I'm risking it all. You have to. You have to. That's the only way you win. And that's how... You any, thought any, about this. Anytime... Oh, yeah. That's what Jared did. At, or whatever his name is. Uh, yeah. And yeah. so did uh, Ken. The Ken... Whatever. Ken... So you're strongly considering Jeopardy. Like, there's a better chance you'll go on than Shane at this point? Well, I don't know. I don't know how trivial Shane's brain is. Uh, so, funny enough, me and my wife started watching it about right before we left for the tour, and we had them over, and we were like, y'all want to watch Jeopardy? We watched Jeopardy <laughs> yeah, we for just like did. three hours. It's awesome. It was sick. Yeah. It was educational, you know? Okay, yeah. And I want to know out of James and Shane, who that won that night? Uh, I think prob- I won. Yeah, probably Shane. Shane's a lot smarter than me. Are you pretty good at that. it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> who would win out of this one, James? Like, Steven, Steven. or Shane? Steve, for Okay, sure. all right. Oh, yes. I already know. He knew about... Yeah. Like rust from the I don't know, carbon dating, or, yeah. he said. Yeah. So what happens me, if you like, go to Final yeah, Jeopardy yeah. and you risk it all, and you don't know the question? That's just one you're of those things loser. where you're just like tough. You know, I don't. You know get anything. to keep the money that you, you get. Earn. A th- third place gets a thousand bucks. Second place gets two hundred. But usually, it's brought to you by a leave. Oh. So there's, they get the sponsor to give you. Oh, I thought they get to keep the money they had made. I did too. No, no, no. no. A big pharma gives you, you know, a thousand bucks right at the end of it. Yeah. No wow. way. These people have earned like twelve thousand eight hundred, Alex. No, yeah. no, they you only get, get to keep like two hundred bucks. That's play right. money, dude. Oh my and gosh. then you got to wow. get then it's taxed because it's I guess filmed in California. Wow. Or... Well, I got I got some history on this. <laughs> I um I went wow. two thousand nine. I went to the Price is Right. It was post Bob Barker days. Yes, what? Drew Carey. So we were in the studio audience for this. Live. Me and a buddy of mine. And dude, I'm telling you. When I say everybody should add this to your bucket list, I don't care who you are, you would have a blast. And you have equal chance, no matter what seat you're in, in the audience, to get yeah. called up. And so the whole time you're like, and now, you know, you're like, it could be. Come on down. I have, Come I have a story down. about that too. Um, <clears throat> Adam D from Kill yes. Kill Engage. Yes. Oh, yeah. So he I got on this. and won. And then the night that it aired, Woven War was on tour, and we stayed at his house that night. And he oh still God. hadn't got his. He won two cars Gosh. and whatever, how much money. And he still hadn't oh got it, but he God. said the taxes were insane. Ridiculous. Yeah, didn't California he, tax he like wrote a whole article about like how it co- uh, it cost him all his money to win those mm-hmm. cars, and he had to sell <laughs> yeah. them. To he like had to sell not... them to, to do it, but I mean, he did make some money off of it. But yeah, it's not all tears and yeah. sadness. It's really big prizes, and you're like, how do you get them? I mean, like, mm-hmm. so he won like the biggest of the big. Yeah, he, he won, won the showcase on, showdown. He won two Both. cars. Yeah, he he won a car in his game, and then he won a car in the showcase showdown. Shout out or to the Adam D. Showcase. No yeah, what crap. a sweetheart. You guys And it yeah, cost him great. money. He's awesome. Dude, cost right, him man. money cost to him win money, these yeah. cars. All right, pony up twelve thousand and you've won two cars. <laughs> two. All right. Dang I don't it. really want this Ford Fiesta that bad. Well, in all in all good in all good fun. <laughs> I want a Ford Fiesta and a Kia Sorento. <laughs> in all good yeah. fun, it was awesome. And because I had to ship them to Massachusetts. Did you think you were gonna get picked? Well, we did because we were on the second row, so we were in a lot of camera shots. It was funny. <laughs> but Drew Carey does comedy. And during the commercial breaks, yeah, and oh, cool. I was never told that, huh. and so it was just like five minutes stand up bits with Drew, and they were hilarious. So it was pretty fun. What's the deal? What's the deal with this price? What's the deal with taxes? <laughs> Why does it cost money to win my prizes? Did you have to pay to get in, or was it like they it's just free? The, oh. But you got to get there at like 5 a.m. at the fence. That was kind of weird to be in the hood of LA at 5 a.m. You guys have played yeah. Conan, right? Or Kimmel we did or? Conan yeah. when it was on NBC, which was. A universal hookup because NBC Universal. Right, universal. right, right. It was very fun. Conan was very tall. And How awkward was it? Because I feel in my mind, I remember watching Slipknot on Conan. Like it, I recorded it on tape. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> it was the size of this room. When and they're like head banging really hard. And I was thinking, like, there's <laughs> nobody. Kids and Slipknot on the exact same show. As well, well, yeah. I, just, <laughs> I 
was just thinking though in my mind like how awkward that is to be just like head and everybody's like 30 feet away <clears throat> sitting down it's maybe. a really big barricade though. probably <laughs> yeah exactly probably really not digging your band at all like no matter who it yeah, is the odds of them knowing who you are and being stoked right they just like, happen to be in LA and like let's go to the uh, go they're to waiting line. in line stage diving's off the table there you can't stage dive there's, there's probably like no. two Slipknot <laughs> fans in the studio audience and the rest are like yes just too darn loud. Yeah. So, like, was it how weird on a level of okay, shooting a music video is awkward, and then Very. doing Conan. Which one is more awkward? Do you think? Uh, was Good Day Dallas a, cho- a choice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about that. Uh, I started on all fours for Good Day Dallas. Like when they came back from commercial break, I was on all fours <laughs> like a lion barking. Okay. It was a dare from the other team <laughs> band members, and I was like, "You hey, should have taken I'll, the physical I'll start. challenge." And so, yeah, yeah that, those those shows are just so awkward. You've got to do something to just like make it kind of fun because the audience is just like they're still asleep, especially in the morning. It's like, like oh, desert yeah, was it, face. Was it taped like super early? Yeah, they're they're taped in the morning, uh, and it's like it's we we probably went on around noon. Se- oh, Did y'all oh, do okay. a full band or acoustic? Full band. Wow. It's really quiet because they have it all. None of it's plugged it's a, in. It's all through in ears, yeah. and and so the. The studio audience hears nothing. It's like drums, cymbals. yeah, cymbals and snare. Yeah, and so they're like, <laughs> like every sleeper show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but but like, since you brought up Slipknot, listen to this. So, I just googled Forever the Sickest Kids and Slipknot because we toured with Slipknot in Australia. Believe it or not. Okay. Oh, yeah. with a K. Not bad. Not bad. That was good. Uh-uh. That no. lineup. Oh. Nope. Here you go. Here's that lineup. Let's hear it. Slipknot, We the Kings, Forever the Sickest Kids, Under Oath, Escape the Fate, Paramore, Boys Like Girls. Jeez. Gosh, one of these things is Nine not like nails. the other. <laughs> what? Marilyn what? Manson. What? No way. And? Megadeth. No. Slayer. No. What's the dude's name? Because it's not on here. Uh, well, what's he in? Uh, James Taylor. Um, uh, <laughs> It'll Jim, come back to Fred me. Fred Durst. Jim, Cur- Jim Croce. Oh, back I know. I know. He had LeBron James. Yes. LeBron. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. got LeBron to go. Oh, man. So anyways, yeah, LeBron, we toured with Slipknot, right. and the coolest thing about that was seeing them out of their suits, like backstage, like having old. family They're guests old, come dog. in. Dude, I would, I would. So good. Kids running around. System of a down. System. Yeah, they Surge. were. Surge. 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 So I had a dare to, Marilyn Manson went on right before us. This was another dare from our band. <laughs> so, such and a they were wheels like, off lineup. <laughs> I dare you. I've never said that sentence before. <laughs> Marilyn Manson went right before us. I dare you to say good show, Brian, when he walks off hey, stage. good show, dude. And so Brian. Brian. <laughs> it's Marilyn Manson's real name. Brian. Brian. Brian Warner. So we're standing like band members are right here. We're they're about to do the changeover. Who is Brian Warner? Anyway. Is that his name? Oh, yes. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Brian. 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 Jeopardy. Warner. Jeopardy. So he walks off stage in his like twelve inch platform. <laughs> was he wearing a was he wearing a bustier? Uh, and women's or panties? Like or, or, I mean he just yeah. went nuts. I was like Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> So I go, good show, Brian. And he goes, F you. I was like, wow. All right. I bet he didn't say F. No, he's, he said a word he that would get himself. kicked off the air. But Dang. it was so funny. It was That was my good one show, like, Brian. memory of Marilyn Manson tour. Were you wearing like a hat? Like, a flat <laughs> bill, yeah, flat bill, like, neon, neon everything. Green. <laughs> flat iron hair, just like. <laughs> yeah, like a swoop. It was the same tour that every time I die came out and oh, so wrote like, hey, Britney sucks and walked out on our set <laughs> and like held it up to the whole <laughs> So we didn't we didn't get along with those guys. I Jordan know they're Buckley, y'all's, but uh, and FTSK just starting. It was, and that's starting like been thirteen stuff. years ago. Starting stuff. It yeah. was funny because it was like, <laughs> why would you words. come on our stage and write, "Hey, Britney sucks." Like we're trying to perform for like you know a lot of people, and they, you gotta stay anyway. edgy. So hey, back to the we're comments. Trying to turn these um, Slipknot fans. <laughs> 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 Wheels. Trying to convert some Slipknot fans. <laughs> Wheels Wheels are are so good. <laughs> oh my god. So uh, Heather Schoonover Carlisle says, "Hey, period, period. How's your voice feeling? It's you know about to seventy percent. Feels good to be at least talking again. I've got rehab that starts next Thursday, and not looking forward to vocal rehab, but I am looking forward to the stories that Shane has because I kind of followed this tour a little bit on Instagram, oh, yeah. and and it seemed like probably for guys." Like us that do music, it felt great to see how absolutely relevant you guys are at this time. Without a doubt. Yeah, because the band had taken so much time off, and it been how long has it been since the last record came out? This is your best 2013. record. 2013. Thank you. 2013 I, to opinion. 19. So yeah. it's been that math. Six years. Six years. So what was the emotion like leaving for tour? Like, the, will people still show up six years later? Yeah, a lot of worry, and and but after the third show, we were you know we 
uh, the first show, we had to stop three times. For? Technical, technical difficulties. Okay. Lighting difficulties. Oh, man. Oh, um, During the show? Come on. Mm-hmm. Come like, on. Micah decided to do the light show that afternoon before the show started? I'm not saying anything on the air. <laughs> He's going to see this well, one day. Micah, good to see you, brother. Previous Micah's guest. Micah's the best. My um, episode zero, I mean, zero, listen, we yeah. talking about practice. practice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. practice. Speaking of practice, we definitely practiced our butts off for this tour. And um, where, where do y'all practice? In, in my studio. bedroom. Yeah. I have, so when we when we moved into our house, my wife was like, "You just turn the master bedroom into the studio. It's the oh, biggest room in the house." What? what an awesome, awesome one. Yeah. Yep. Can you shout out to your wife right now? Yeah. 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 Shout out, babe. What is Super that? Shout I, think out. She's, I think she's on here too. Well, let's see here. We do have Dana Wood Williams, El Medi, Mitch Talley. Fonseca's in here. Oh. Tanner Milner, Jared's Colton in Bivens, got another mom Richard on here. Garcia, Les Ballamut, Jared Neiman, Missy Sims Walker, Paula Cooper, Justin Bowling, Brian Hendon. He said he saw the Seattle show. You all were awesome. Nice. What can you share about Empty or guys in Empty? Conviction was awesome. toured with. They were both awesome. Is that a typo for Emory? No, <laughs> Empty was the band that opened our headliner. Oh, there's a band called Empty. Yes. Is it like short they just or got something? Signed to Solid State too. They're great. Like Empty Out the Carcass or something? They got no. signed to Solid State? Mm-hmm. Dude, that's huge. Good on for the, Empty. On the tour. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And then uh, awesome. Convictions was great. They were uh, super pro. They had Fog. Wow. Foggers. Whoa. Like, on, on cue with their... Dude, they, they had, had it synced, synced up. Breakdowns. Did you guys have Fog this time around? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> well, We had the whole we have, like, get up. So there was always fog drama and no sleeper because there still is Zach hates it. <laughs> so Zach, so he likes a haze, like a like a ten percent, like haze. a little bit of a haze. We like a hundred percent. You like you like. A, we would this is spinal I like flying level. through the clouds. When I was in the band, I would take the button that shoots the fog out, and I would tape it down so they would run <laughs> continuously. Oh, that's tight. I would the, the second the band before us stopped, I would start it, and it'd go. Tss. It'd be Cloud City in the <laughs> venue. Cloud. You couldn't even yeah, see us at all. I love Zach, the smell of that stuff. <laughs> it smelled like, like pancake Ooh, syrup. I yeah. love the smell and we would of the set fog. smoke it detectors you off. Oh, big time, big time. And you couldn't see Zach at all, which I thought was funny, but yeah. he hated. Do you know what? So fog when I quit the band, he was like, "I know what I'll do. I'll set my my drums up where James used to stand. <laughs> Remember that on the side stage yeah. piece? Yes. We don't do it anymore now that Seth is. Nathan Mitchell says Shane can choke a bee, comma two. Oh. Nathan is one of my jujitsu buddies. There you go. So you are good. jujitsu. Why don't you explain that? What uh, is, about what is three that? years ago, I do. You, do you stay kosher? <clears throat> I don't know what that means. Mm. Um, I, was make, I was making a Jew jitsu joke. Oh, <laughs> man. man! Wow, you gotta go on Trebex. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you make jokes like that on his show, you're gonna. Oh yeah. No. Allie Blaze <laughs> says hi, husband! Exclamation point. My mom is here too. Ha ha. And Kristen, Christine Silvers. Says, visit Des Moines, Iowa again. We miss you. Yeah, we missed Des Moines on this last run. Sorry, Christine. Speaking of slipknot. Yeah, speaking right of slipknot. past that. Yeah. She's yeah. waiting on you. So next time you come back, she'll be at the show. Is that a one. promise? <laughs> just one time? Just one Just one person. Just one person's waiting show. in Des Moines. <laughs> That'd be sick. Bring your, you know. Somewhere. So back to your story. Allie lets you <laughs> make the master friends. bedroom your studio, and that's where y'all practice, right? Yeah, yeah. So, um, but our producer, Andreas, um, Magnuson, he lives in Richmond. He's never, he's only seen us a few times. Maybe five. And every time he's seen us, we oh, were horrible. Oh, no. And he doesn't, I mean, what do you think, James? He, he doesn't mince sugarcoat words. Anything. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. He, he's the realist. He very. He but told anyway, me this every time, time he saw us with me in the band, we sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. But wow. this last time he said that it sounded like a new band and mm-hmm. we sounded great. And, I agree, um, 100%. Yeah. It was so good in, in Dallas. Thank Sound you. was great. What about Band Vegas? Was tight. Vegas? Vegas was a weird Vegas show. Vegas kind of sucked. Yeah, I thought we played well, but Vegas just no bueno. Just, it was sold out. It was great, but we they did not. They weren't. Re- they were ready for my heart is in Ohio. They weren't ready for. Oh, <laughs> ready for you built this ship from the wreckage. Yeah. I think that every time we ever played Vegas. We get off stage and be like, all right, that kind of sucked. Now it's time to go party. <laughs> yeah. That is the worst you city to play a show in because every yeah. there's so many entertainment choices. There's yeah. ten, 10 million entertainment choices. You over party before to? and after. Yeah, Zach Brown was in town that night. Yeah. So that's where our crowd was. That's where the oh, crowd yeah, of was. Course. They're at Zach Brown. Were y'all trying to convert some it's Zach that, Brown that fans? That Venn diagram yeah. of O Sleeper fans and <laughs> yeah. Zach Brown fans and the overlap. Yeah. I'm in that intro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zach Brown's yeah, legitimate. Shane, Shane in the middle, Venn diagram. Yeah. 
Remember when we met Charles Barkley in Vegas at one time? Yes, and he gave us life advice. No good yeah. head. Uh, no yeah, we played at Mandalay Bay with Every Time I Die, and he was just in the dressing room, like <laughs> They're with his <laughs> with his boys, and he was just shooting life advice to all of us. We were all like, taking like those like secret selfies what's the, with him what's in the, the background. Time? There, do I? I don't he know. Met, he, okay, I, I remember the story. So <clears> the. Uh, the every time I die's tour manager, remember what was that guy's name? Doug or he played for the Phoenix Suns. And you know he was like he Shaquille. He loved the I think he loved the Cowboys or something. Ooh. Yeah, and Cow, I remember Cowboys were playing that night. Cowboys were we, playing. We were like, hey, Vinny Paul, we're from Arlington. <laughs> yeah, we saw him. <laughs> we saw Vinny Paul that oh night too. Oh my gosh, dude, what a night! Anyway, so Doug, this guy who's shorter than me, walks into the bar <laughs> over by House of Blues and Shaq or Shaq. Wait, wait, Charles Barkley. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't just confuse. Shaq was saving money on his car insurance with the general. Yeah, point. he was. So <laughs> anyway, wait, he I'm was stuck like, on the fact that there's someone shorter than you. Yeah, Whoa. there is. Oh, wow. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so Our old oh. drummer was shorter wow, than you. you're so dominant. <laughs> 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 All right, back to Charles Barkley. You had that anyway. lock, dude. Oh my God. Hey, Duh. Aaron Allen, nice of you to show up an hour late. He's Thanks. gonna want us to start the whole thing over again, I bet. All right, we're starting Sorry, the show Shane, over because Aaron Allen is here. Roll orange juice, James. And we're live. <laughs> James Like is in here too, so we'll just start it over for James and Aaron. Sorry about that. We uh, should have waited, but uh, we're live. It's their world. We just live in it. So That's Charles okay. Barkley's backstage at an O Sleeper show, and Vinnie Paul's there. Yeah, <laughs> and someone else I uh, probably shouldn't say on the air. Chumley? No. Uh, no. Paris that Hilton? That was in, uh, Pink was in Seattle. Seattle. <clears throat> and she she told us to Jenna go to her it. bar, and she actually had tickets waiting for us. That was crazy. Yeah, that wow. was a cool story. Jenna Jameson? Uh, yeah, it was a porn star, actually. Okay. And, um, oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh. It, was a, it was a dude, a male <laughs> porn star. Yeah, yeah. All right, moving right along. So it looks like uh, Aaron <laughs> Allen says he's busy, so... He has an excuse, and uh, James says, your voice sounds good, Jonathan, good and rested. Thank you, James, for that. Great. I appreciate it's that, It's right change. in my ear very loud, so. Let me, me turn you down. Really good. No, 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 no. I like it. Here's what, here's what we've been talking about today. So Shane has a master bedroom that his wife let him convert into a practice studio. I don't think any wife ever would allow that except for Miss Allie. So I need to hear oh, nope. how on earth did this happen, and, and does it work? Does it work? Yeah, I mean, um, we have three bedrooms, and she was just like, we'll just take this one. You know, we only sleep in there. And True. so we... Um... Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Just and... like... <laughs> oh, man. We need to hit that. I knew it was going to go there. <laughs> hit the prices right. Uh, ball, 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 ball. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Looks like the police are showing up down Crowley oh, Road here. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. But would you, you just dude, would in. you say that my studio vibe is just off the rails, though? It's Yeah. It's like... Uh, if Shane's dreams it's like this. through a... It's like this, yeah. Really? It's, oh, it's like a legit... I mean, I've got... Three, very vibey. It's like the bat computer in the, in the cave. Wow. Yeah, like, I'm Batman. You could... <laughs> I got to know something here. Have you ever written a song? I mean, have y'all written in there? Like, has songs come out? All of, of the new record was written in that room. Do y'all oh, yeah. do it all collaboratively, or do you... No, I just... Okay. I usually start everything, and okay. then... I usually have, like, a full song done, and then I'll send it to Zach to... I'll have drums for it, too, but he'll, like... <laughs> He'll do put, put that feel on it <laughs> all over it, and then just I'll deny it, shots. and I just go back to my drums. No, um, and then, <laughs> then Michael um, will write melodies and lyrics to it. Uh, I yeah. imagine you write, yeah, the I write melody. most of the melodies, yeah. but um, I just email him stuff, and he'll just work on it in his car or whatever, and then come over and track. We, I think we did all the, his vocals at my house, and we did all of my vocals in Richmond. Unbelievable, dude! I did some stuff at my house just for harmonies and whatever so my real estate hat goes to <clears throat> could we list that house at some point and put <laughs> a sleeper record the like the like you know for instance we have christine silvers in des moines that might want to move to fort worth area yeah sure. what better house to move to than your favorite band's house where the record was written like if blink yeah. 182 listed their la house back in the day i would pay money that i didn't have way <laughs> above what it's worth to because that's your band yeah right? dude that's my band dude all right Travis Barker's house, man. Wrote the album there. Morning View was That's written it. in a, like a house. Yes. Um, have you seen that DVD? Do you have that DVD? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. What's Morning so View? Cool. It's Incubus's Incubus. fourth record. They just went off to this house and just wrote a whole record. They rented a beach, a beach house. house in Malibu. So do those houses sell for more? Like this is where Beastie mm -hmm. Boys wrote their hits. Like, does the appraiser give that value? Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's like, the yeah. question, right? Five thousand like, dollars on top. Mark of Mark Cuban's like, what? I don't I don't need that. I think if you buy that house, you probably just buy it cash. Yeah. You're probably yeah. that kind of buyer. What does the inspector say? Like, I think we found a guitar thrown through the wall. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> kind of weird. We don't know how to explain it. Is that like on an inspection report? Like you're an inspector now, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Tell us course. about that. So what? Uh, what is an inspector? inspector for three years? Uh, I'm a professional property inspector. I oh can do wow. Commercial and residential. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you did commercial too. That's cool. Yeah. Or I can. I don't. So, yeah. for, um, <laughs> so for all the realtors listening. Yeah. By the way, why don't you give yourself a shout out? If you're a realtor, a real estate agent, which is also known as a realtor, not a real ladder, real ladder, realtor, or a realtor, realtor, it's realtor. If you're a realtor listening and you want a great inspector in the Dallas Fort Worth area, Shane, give your contact information or website or yeah, hashtag. Yeah, it's called Stormwall Inspections, and uh, I'll put a, I'll put a thing on the, on the thing. Do it, I'll, okay. I'll, yeah, do it, yeah. But I've worked for all three of these guys <laughs> so far, and, and totally. All the, these realtors right here. Right. Real, We're all members of the Rangers. National Association of Realtors. Real I'm, a, I'm a Greater Fort Worth uh, alumni now, too. Oh. Hey. Yeah. All right. A, g- oh, a wow. gift war? Mm-hmm. A gift mm-hmm. war? I get member? their emails. See, Jason awesome. Perez is laughing because he says, professional, he says, ha, ha, ha. Fight ha. me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fight wow. me IRL. Catch me outside. How about that? There you go. Yeah, right. dude, your the your speed is insane on He's this. He's the best there that's, is. That's dude. the piece. Unbelievable. I challenge anybody against James Irwin. He will smoke you to can the you, button. Can you turn that no, around? No, 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 no. We want to keep the studio Whoa. magic. Whoa. The studio magic. Keep the, uh, wow. the mystery. Wow, that has almost to happened. Stay. <laughs> You yeah. almost asked David Vetted. Copperfield how to. Yeah, jeez. How'd asked... you make that Statue of Liberty disappear? Okay, so Aaron Allen says the house that STP's Tony Music album was recorded in was Tiny awesome. Music. Oh, Tiny Music. Yes, he said Tony. He said oh. Tony. But you know better than that because you are Mr. Jeopardy. But I also like Stone Temple Pilots. Oh, okay, cool. Are Me you too. doing jujitsu, yeah. Jason Perez asks. I still am. Yeah. And what level have you accomplished? I've I got my blue belt uh, in February. Very nice. Which was a big. That Big is huge. Deal. Do you do? <laughs> do you do a Japanese jiu or Brazilian? Okay. Yeah. All right. Karate, I kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Yo! <laughs> Breaking the rules. <laughs> that was technically Jack Black cussing, uh, not James. Sorry. So Kyle Iztook says, "What's up, Shane Blay?" Exclamation point. Hey, boy. He called you. Oh yeah, boy. shaved. What do you think, bud? He likes it. Kyle, this is for you. Shout out to Free Kyle. Guys. You guys don't know, Kyle was one of my groomsmen, so was James. Yeah. You guys weren't invited. Jonathan yeah. didn't get the okay. <laughs> Steven didn't go. Uh, I had other yeah. plans that day. Nope. So yeah. And Kyle, thank you to Kyle, the lovely Chiron scrolling at the bottom, and the logo implementation. Was hey, that is Kyle? true. Yes. Oh, yeah. Kyle did this. Uh, he did yeah. this? Yeah. Uh, he, he didn't do the logo, but all the moving stuff and he all did the... He Wow. The, so if you're we watching, all he did all this and all this. Wow. He's the man with the plan. Look and at my boy this. doing work. Yeah. Melissa Ann showed up a little late, and she said, Jonathan, aren't you supposed to be resting your vocals? And so I'm doing this legally. My vocal doctor <laughs> oh, no. has allowed me to speak there, on the podcast today. He can sing, sounds, too. Can I'll sing. prove it. Watch this. I am. Okay. Harmony you. practice. Tap the Rockies, tap Coors Light. Tap the Rockies, 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 Coors Light. That's cool. That was great. That was great. No! Whoa! No! <laughs> so Jason says the new album is lit. When's your next Fort Worth show? Good question. Uh, good question. Yeah, I think we're going to try to book a home show before we leave for Europe in December. Oh, how about at Fairmont? Very nice. How about at your Fairmont listing? Just yeah, you guys, just play, you guys want to play in a 1,900 square foot house? I just don't want to play at the door, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How about another last show at the door? Yeah. Tom Rest Kent. in peace, the door again. I know. How about at the corner of what street is that house on that you have? Oh, South Lake and something. Something over there. The big boy? Fairmont, yeah. big boy, we could Boom. do a house show. A house show. A new- wow, that'll sell it's it. Been a, it's been a minute. Seth Buckley says that logo would make a great coaster. I'll get right on that. Oh, yeah, she makes... Uh... Oh, yeah, she does make oh. coasters. That could be kind of sick. That make us really some cool. coasters, Seth. Make us like three. That'd be dope. Haley Barchard is watching. She is our sound guy's fiance from Florida. What's up, girl? So, what's the weather like in Florida? If you could please comment that below, because we might take a plane. It is so hot here in Crowley. I would imagine oh, Florida yeah, is ninety percent humidity, and it's probably going to rain at about three o'clock this afternoon. So all of this is day. true, but you know, I, I, I lived in Florida. I lived in Florida briefly. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I did, So I hate the 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 people from Florida talking to Texas. You, should, you know, you have like a dry heat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just shut, shut up. What does that even mean? What is yeah. dry heat? If you look up the definition of dry, dry heat. It's just low low humidity. Yeah. So you can get in the shade. Like, you can get, just get in the shade and you'll be fine. Crap. That's what, yeah. Yeah, no. 
All running right. into people from Arizona, I, I'm guilty of the same thing. Like, oh, Arizona's a dry heat. Yeah, bro, it's 120. <laughs> yeah, come, tell me, come tell me it's dry. We just drove through the Mojave, and it was 127 at <laughs> some point. Was, it was the AC oh working? Oh, my God. No, not that day. Oh. So the AC was not working. Well, it was, it was working, but the van was overheating, so we had to just run the... Can I you know how it is. The heat. Can I share you my biggest fear of touring? Running like that that being hot? hot? That str- yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not being able to make a uh, bu- uh, truck stop and having to go number two on a Prevo. Have yeah. duck butter all day and night. Ooh. Possibly that, too. That's top five for sure. But what about going Chlamydia? like El Paso West and like, it's what the if worst you had place a on earth. flat out there? No, oh, no. Like a flat. Oh, just like from. Like on the bus or the van, yes. like you can't see for hundreds of miles. You can't see any buildings. Mm-hmm. You had a flat tire. out there. Think your generator would last until the freaking eighteen <laughs> wheeler repair guy? Generator, generator stuff. Dog, we're in a van. Dude, I've been remember... touring for eighteen years or so, and that's not happened. We're we. Written, I remember yes. you're written a sixteen passenger from Caps. Peel back the curtain a little bit. We our van. Uh, so the van that O Sleeper has owned has owned it. How long we the, the uh, entire life two, of the band? Yeah, two thousand six. Yeah, so it's thirteen, thirteen yeah. years old. Yeah. How many thousand, hundreds of thousand miles? So we're four hundred. No, we're we're eight hundred miles away from four hundred thousand. So no, it's nice. oh, yeah. no <laughs> just drive it, drive it around the loop for Did a few hours. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did y'all yeah. buy it new? Is that uh, all we you brought like? it with thirty thousand miles? So me and James did the math the other day, and I think that we, I mean, him and I, just in the driver's seat, have spent two months of our lives just consecutively, straight. two months straight, driving. two months of our lives. How'd you just... do the math on that, bro? It's kind of legit. We're just good at math. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I can't get in. It's too, too heady to get on, on all the podcasts. Yeah. This, this isn't a math this podcast. This isn't a math podcast. True. But the, that's uh, coming up Well, next. it kind of is, because isn't O Sleeper math metal? Yeah. Well, basically. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, not really. <laughs> but I remember- Everything's in four, bro. The biggest nightmare ever is <laughs> the being- math metal it, is so it's, funny. It's, it's August. The van is overheating, and you're climbing a mountain in the desert, and the only way to cool the engine off- is to roll the windows down and turn the heat on as high as you can blast uh, it. No. Because it vents heat off of the engine. Yeah. And we did that. Every I don't time even we were going up the know mountain. how many times every, we had to do that. Every time in Napa and every time in Death Valley and stuff, you have to do yeah. it. Yeah. You're blasting the heat to, to cool the engine. And then we did oh, that. Wow. And then people were like, oh, man, you get to the show. I'm like, I wish you guys would have played Archers tonight. You're like, really, dog? Yeah, you know dude. what? We I've, just got, I've got heat rash on my legs, bro. <laughs> yeah, look at my rashy leg. All you right, know. dude. Why did you dry play, like, heat ready? definition on Urban Dictionary? You ready? Oh, is this gonna, oh boy. This when it's hot bad. outside, but the humidity is low, so the air can cool the body down. Conversely, when the humidity is high, the air cannot cool the body and absorb sweat, as the air is already saturated. This can make a seventy-five degree day feel closer to eighty. Example: It's eighty degrees out today, but it feels nice. You gave me a generic response. That is so <laughs> generic. And that's so wrong. I'm going to the, steam this broccoli for dinner. The recipe says we need to cook it with a dry heat. So how about sautéing <laughs> it instead? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you once again, right. Urban Great. Dictionary. The brain trust behind Urban Dictionary. Uh, so, Aaron Allen says it's an oven here. He's referring to Crowley, Texas, I believe. And Anoli and Miranda says, I love O Sleeper. Shane is so hot. I want to date him. He's incredibly good looking. <laughs> oh wow, my. would he take off his shirt? Jonathan just added all the rest. I was going to say, I don't think <laughs> any of that stuff. <laughs> she did give a lovey emoji and a heart emoji. So thank you for that, Miss Miranda. You're just interpreting that. So how? So the new record is out. What's it called? Bloody and Unbowed. How's it doing? Apparently really well. Um, label says it's doing really well. I don't, I don't like to look at numbers because I'll just get depressed. How yeah. do you track? Because nobody buys records anymore. Uh, so how do you track like... I mean, we still do the, the same same thing. Sound scans. Sound scans are still the S- same old. Is I, Spotify? I, I, I disagree. It, somebody or? buys records. Hey, you bought it, didn't you? You bought it on a on a digital platform, though. I did. I didn't buy. You guys didn't. He's have, talking about physical. Oh, physical copies. Yeah, yeah. I stole it. Streaming show. and online are two different. But it, things. buying it from iTunes doesn't count toward your overall it does. RIA numbers. It. I don't know. Talk to somebody else. Shane, Jonathan, does it Shane will probably receive a tenth of a cent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My no last Spotify right. check was, I think, three cents, and yes. Wolvenor has, you know, five million plays or something, and then who, I don't know how many of Sleeper has. Well, so if you're listening to this on cents. Spotify today, thank you for Spotify <laughs> for hosting our podcast. But no ripping thank off the you. artists. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we, uh, here's what's funny. Like, I guess James brought this to my attention. He's like, dude, your band gets 750000 Monthly, monthly listeners, listeners from from Spotify. It's <laughs> a lot, and I'm like, 
I have not seen one check from Spotify ever in the history of our band. So we're trying to figure out why does Spotify? Well, it's gone down. Well, it comes 600. in on your royalty check. It's oh, just is like that a, right? yeah, it's just a, a, a addendum. Are it's you ASCAP or BMI? ASCAP. I am too. So maybe it is on on our check. You just have to look at your uh, itemized, itemized report. Yeah. There you go. Um, I do know that Pharrell. You know that song "Happy" that had. Billions and billions of plays on Spotify. Whoa, that's a lot. He made like seven grand or something. Yeah, right? something stupid. Seven grand off. It had like stream. twenty billion plays on Spotify, and he got a he overall, bought a new hat. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Shoot. Put a down payment on one of his hats. He what bought him a van Those with big eight hundred miles short of three hundred thousand. <laughs> oh, short of four hundred thousand. Aaron's asking about our shirt sales because he makes our shirts. <laughs> oh, how are they doing? Oh. Shout out to Aaron Allen. We sold out of everything, Aaron. So boom. That's where the real money is. B- people don't know that bands are just like traveling T- t-shirt, t-shirt salesmen. salesmen. Yes. Yeah. That's it. But now you get these labels that are Dude, that's doing funny. the, the 360, 360 deals. We're not doing that. Oh, no. good. No, you guys, well, well, no. you guys have been on Solid State for how long? Well, we Since did those three records. 14, yeah. yeah. And then... Y'all are off them now? Uh, no, we have an option to do another one if okay, they want to do okay. it. But yeah. there's no they, right. the whole tri- the whole contract was super no strings. So. Okay, that's show. Tell us, tell the listeners if you're watching on Facebook Live, you can kind of see in the background that uh, this is oh, there's, yeah. there's Irwin. Daddy right there, Daddy Irwin, <laughs> Daddy Irwin's in this one. Tell us what's going on on the screen there. Okay, so uh, that's the chorus of Hushayel. There's James singing a harmony. He's singing um, "We Are." We are. We are. Yeah. I love that song. Um, there's Daddy right there, Daddy Blay. Yep. This was at, uh, when was this, James? Probably the door. No, it was at the door. I'm saying <laughs> 2014. This was on my birthday in 2013 because you 2013. remember after the show what happened. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you, you told slapped. me about that. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. James got real um, Silly. inebriated. My mother in law, as soon as I got off stage, she was like, hey, you want it? My mother in law yeah, weighs 90 yeah, pounds. Bucket. Gail's she's, awesome. she's like, hey, do you. <laughs> And she doesn't, she's not Do you like want to wild. do the ice bucket challenge? Worse. She oh. goes, hey, do you want to take a shot of rumple mints right now? And I was like dehydrated. Oh. And then it was my birthday. I was like, yes. And then, you know, 15 of those later, I'm punching Shane in the bar. Yeah. Oh. So they're all getting a This is right when I no, started. No, it was like, it was like a, like a fly, like bouncing off his face. And he was like, this is cute. I'm well, sure. Well, the, the real problem was that he, he was about to get kicked out of the bar because John, the bartender, saw him do that. And then, so James slaps me in the face and he's like, this is right when I started dating my wife, and he goes, "Don't you hurt her, man!" <laughs> Slaps me in the face. I was advocating for Allie really yeah. hard, <laughs> which worked out. It really did. Um, but then he. Oh, he's Micah Dean Johnson says, "Stop the show and pay attention to me." No, he. No, you're not he, getting Waterburger, no. bro. Get okay. out of here. Not <laughs> happening. Sorry, guys. Nope. Nope. Um, <laughs> So he, he slaps me in the face, then turns around and just shoves his hands in the bar ice. Yeah. And just start, and then like throw it on your face. You're just being a madman. I was just trying and to John was off. like, dude, he's he's out. And I was like, no. <laughs> Tried to and kick so him out? I turned him around and he hits me again. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, James is up to here on me. I'm just like, yeah. Control okay. him. <laughs> and we just walked into the just next Just go take a nap over there. We were at Profit Bar oh, having no, no, no. drinks there yeah. instead of the door. <laughs> I threw an art show in 2008 at the Profit Bar, and that was my best memory Brag. there. Although we've Ooh. played there, I, I just never enjoyed that venue much. We always played bad shows. That room. We never played the small room. It's way too small for me. It's way too small. I saw some shows in there though back in the day, and it yeah. was pretty pretty cool. If yeah. you can pack that room out, like it's <laughs> it's a crowd of elbows, yeah, hundred people. Yeah, yeah. You could, you hundred could, people looks like a thousand in there. You could walk cool. across everybody's head to be pretty cool. <clears throat> But so rest in let's peace go back to the comments because yeah, rest in peace that venue. But Ali plays Ali Blaze says love you James with a kissy emoji and Roberto Luciano oh says, Brazil. My. Yeah, that's to Ali. Roberto Luciano says Shane is O sleeper ever gonna sell that super elite secret t shirt you guys wear on your tours to use mortals. Huh. Nope. <laughs> to us mortals, I think you meant um, You gotta steal it no. like Gage did. Yeah, Gage stole one. Um we had we we made these shirts that are embroidered with the with the broken pentagram. Oh, that's cool. And a lot of people really want it. I think mine got stolen too because I can't find it. I wonder if Aaron <laughs> Allen could make those. I think who he made them? I think he, he did probably make did, those. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. But that wouldn't make yeah. him exclusive. Wait, who, if he it, didn't, he's going to be pissed. So. <laughs> was it? Uh, yeah. Was it you guys? Was it you saying that 
You stole Britney Spears' jeans? <laughs> it was a blanket. No, that's blanket. A, that's that's what a it was. bunch of stories. No, that was you with I, with no, snap no, no, no. jeans. No, no, no. Th- I almost happened. stole. That's a lot of stories merged into one. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll make it real quick. Yeah. We were on an airplane with Britney Spears once, and as soon as I got off, Micro I was I was on the I was on the very last row. I was the last one to get off the plane, and I walked by where she was sitting, and there was like a pile of trash that was hers, and a blanket she was using. The pile of trash and was in, Britney and Spears. And in my mind, <laughs> and in my mind, I was like, steal that blanket and just put it in a bag no and way. smell it once. A year on your birthday. No, you should have done it, man. And so I get off the plane. I get off the plane and I yes. run into Lucas, and he's like, "How yes. bad did you want to steal that blanket?" And I was like, "Oh my!" And then, so I saw him, or not Lucas, because uh, Nate was in the band. I ran into like I don't know, I, I don't know Zach Jim, or something. Zach. Zach anyway. was like, "I wanted to steal that blanket." I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I ran into Nate, and Nate was like, "How bad did you want to steal that blanket and just sniff it?" And I was like, "No way!" Were we all thinking the same thing about that blanket being creepy? <laughs> And then the other one is one time I almost stole Scott's wait, wait, wait. Did y'all jeans. get the blanket? <laughs> y'all didn't get the blanket? I didn't get the I got nervous. Why? Her trash made me nervous. <laughs> oh, That's how God. big of a celebrity she I is. I guarantee you that blanket smelled like cigarette smoke and trash. Shout well, out to I Britney Spears if care. she's watching today. Shout out to Britney. I almost stole your blanket once. It should have been it should still be mine. You guys were so embarrassing on that flight. Because I walked in, we were we were in the awkward like first class. You're Breathe. a peasant walking oh, by them. Yeah. Oh, that's and horrible. And it was stopped. You're standing, and I like standing by her. Like, can we just talk uh, about that for a second? Like the walk onto a plane through first class, like the feeling you have. Like you look at all nine people and you're like. Yeah, all nine right. people and they're already drinking mimosas. And they're <laughs> judging you so hard. I only fly Spirit Don't make eye contact. Like, yeah, don't make sit, eye contact. Can you sit down already? Like, I uh, did make eye contact with Brittany. And I, she, I go. Oh. And she goes. <laughs> and I go. Yeah. <laughs> That was my entire nice. interaction with Britney Spears. Was this dreadlocked? And then fr- no. She was thinking it's Maybe? Shane. She was thinking yeah, it's was, Shane. She was sitting up front with all her kids and her Oh, you're that inspector from, te- yeah, I know you. <laughs> from Stormwall. Yeah. Oh, wow. Shane from Stormwall. I know and that the, guy. the embarrassing thing was I heard Zach behind me just losing it, screaming that Britney Spears was on the flight. And I, was, I was keeping it so together. Was this bald Britney or like blonde? No, she was no. ponytail Britney. Oh, how cool. Yeah, this was past that phase of it's Britney now. So we had... <laughs> <laughs> we had like 10 years... Well, not 10 years. We had a year where people thought, hey, Britney, like our, our hit song of the year... Which, was, according was, to Every Time I Die, sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> for Get off my lawn. We had, to go to, we had to go all the way to uh, Adelaide, Australia to find out that Hey, Britney sucks. But uh, everybody thought that was written after Britney Spears. So it's kind of funny because one time uh, we were traveling to the studio in L.A. where we were recording and 40 cars just swarmed by us. And I was like, shoot, Robbie, we're in our van. We had a light Chevy van, too. FBI, open yeah. up! I was like, go, go, go. You got swatted. So we we, we sped up, too, like Playing every Fortnite. mature band would. And yeah, we, you're we follow. drifting in their shadow. And every stoplight paparazzi get out of their cars all 40 of them and they're like shooting the car yeah and one of them like oh as they're getting back in their car i was like what is the deal he's like oh that's britney and it was like the month Yo. that she shaved her hair oh, oh. And okay. i was like oh dude that was cool she we, was on a tear we were kind of in a paparazzi yeah. tear after britney one time so that was that was my extent <laughs> like yours was a little cooler but yeah. you know we were close to britney It'd be a lot cooler too. if i had a blanket to let you guys smell <laughs> <laughs> i thought that story was gonna go so I opened my backpack and was like, "Jokes on you! Here is the blanket I got." Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Be I a wish, lot cooler. If you did. I wish. <laughs> I was too scared though. That's how powerful. all three of you were. Yeah, we really were. All like, three of us had the same the thought. The opportunity was this big. Like, yeah, we always say the window of opportunity is closing fast. Okay, so the Scott Stapp pants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were Scott Stapp pants. Scott Stapp. Uh, we were. I, really, I was. I was not a part of this. Yeah, we were playing a festival. Sure, Somebody this story? took my jewel. I was not a part of it. I was. Oh yeah, you were on tour with Woven War, and yeah. I was filling in for you. Yep. <laughs> so we were playing a show, and Scott Stapp was playing like a solo gig at this fest, and their shared their green room shared a wall with us, <laughs> and I was like, we went over there to like go and I want to hear just this meet him. Up. Oh yeah, well they'd already yeah. played. They played. They're playing when we got there. Me and Michael watched them play. And it was awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So anyway, I went over there and I walked in the room and they're gone. And his like show jeans are like draped over a chair. And I was like, I'm stealing those jeans right now. And I'm walking in. <laughs> That's a felony. You think so? Yeah, Scott Stapp's pants is a felony. Felon. Wow. So they're probably That's, worth I mean, a lot of money. That's federal. That's federal crime. Like theft over five hundred dollars. Yes. But this is the thing, though. I almost so then I heard him coming, and I I got I got spooked and ran. Somebody's taking my jewel. my jewel. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> someone stole my pants. 
Summer storm, my jeans are falling down. They were a hundred bucks. Oh my gosh, dude. Will's so then, are shot off. Okay, I'm glad I, but I'm so glad that I didn't steal his jeans because literally a month later is when his wheel shot off and he like shot his house with a machine gun and like oh. Oh, put yeah. that video of him like when he was homeless and like he's like, I just need a, a five hundred bucks or whatever. CIA's like, coming to get me or something. Yeah, yeah, he went insane. That was dude. like that was a, literally a month later. And so I'm so glad I didn't steal his You would have felt like you caused it by stealing his jeans. Yeah, it'd be like that was the last straw, but <laughs> what if he was pantless that whole time? I'll tell you. <laughs> Like walking around and makes girl, somebody stole my girl. Aaron I'm, Allen says, I stole Creed once and he split his pants during the song Torn. No oh lie. <laughs> wow. On, man. I, uh, oh, how punny is that? Nice. That's nice. That's so punny. Fortunate enough to. Uh, Seth Buckley says, Paul's supposed to do a video for him. Ha ha ha. I don't know what that means. For Who's Stapp, Paul? probably. For Scott Stapp? Yeah, Paul's. Oh, supposed to do. For, for Scott. Yeah. So we have uh, three more minutes here, and I just want to say, oh, wow, that was man, quick, man. Yeah, it goes really it, fast. It's a blast. Real fast. I want to feel your bucket, Shane, because you've been a friend of mine for a long time, and I just really appreciate your friendship. I appreciate what you do for our team now. Like his main gig when he's home is Stormwall, and it's a Being great company. Being awesome at inspections. Yeah. So Thank you. just thanks for coming today. I know you yeah. got a ton of stuff going on, and to make time for the local legend show has, has meant a lot. And oh my gosh, dude, you've you've got more comments than we've probably ever had on a show so might be the biggest show so far probably is and i would just you know i'd say it might be fun if you want to like hang out in the comments for the rest of the day would you be willing to do that all like, day yeah. long well i'm going to uh the lake okay well you gonna go fishing uh i didn't get the license so now you can fish without a license dog apparently the the dude's been camping what lake are you going to maybe he'll be in no those super fans so it won't really matter with our buddy brandon no, Dude, shout out to Brandon Bird. Shout out to Brandon Bird. No, man, maybe the game wardens and no sleeper fan will like, give you a pass. <laughs> he's, oh, he's gonna. You didn't play well, we Archer good, the last time I saw dude, you. We don't have good, uh, um, like, park and reserve dudes because we were drinking wine. Me and you and uh, drinking wine once at a campsite and got one hundred fifty seven dollars. Yeah, for drinking wine. I heard about that at Ben Brook. Yeah, he, so dumb. He like came over and like picked our drinks up and sniffed them. He oh, was man. smelling. His name's Shane Dunaway, by the way. Yeah, Shane Dunaway. Whoa, shout this. out Shane Dunaway. <laughs> shout out Shane Dunaway for like trying. And the, uh, the other kingdom. annoying thing, I was like, I oh, know this guy's younger than me, and it just is like kind of. Anyway, I don't want to get off on a rabbit trail. Yeah, Woo. too but, late. Yeah, maybe the game warden today will let you fish, but maybe. you're not going to be fishing. No, I'll probably be hanging. Dude, hanging. I got a ticket from the game warden two seasons ago. Like we were out in the middle of nowhere, Siegelville, Texas, like yeah. f- f- duck hunting, and. We're like, dude, is that a truck on that dirt road pulling up? Like, Shoot at it to find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a duck. Well, it's we a, get, it's we a get, redhead. We get back to our, like, we're walking back to our truck. He was, he was like, why did he park by our cars? What the heck? So we're, like, hauling our ducks back, all of our camo, our waders. And we're, like, closer we get, we're, like. It's Shane green? Dunaway smelling your cups. It, it was. <laughs> we get back there, and he's, like, all right, guys, licenses. Oh, man. Oh, no. He's like, and open all your shells, because if anybody's got dove shotgun shells on a duck hunt, that's $200 bills per shell. Open them. And I was like, this is Whoa. all dove shells. Oh, oh, man. So he's like, all right, you first, son. Where's your duck license? <laughs> duck I'm like, license. oh, dude, I was just out here calling for these guys. I wasn't hunting. And he's like, oh, funny you say that, because calling in the state of Texas is the same as hunting, so you need a license. <laughs> Like, put your hands behind your back while I search your dove shells Whoa. and make sure there's no dove shells in there. Dove shells. Looks like you got one here. That's 200. Two. Looks like you got three in there. That's 600. And no license. That's another. Sh- I was like, oh, bro, I will never. So I encourage you to get wow. your license if yeah, you're going to Did you end up paying that? Pretty cheap. I did, yeah. Dude, run by Academy. Oh, run by Academy. So pay bad. 25 bucks. Get your fishing license. Nah. Okay. I'll just watch no. Brandon's kid do it. Okay. Watching and, uh, is the Mason same can... as fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, dang it. <laughs> if I fish yeah. call, am I going to get... Yeah, if you call fish... Fish call out there, calling them up. So I learned my lesson a couple seasons ago. You can tell I'm a really good fisher when I'm calling them out. Yeah, horrible. And you call it a fisher, too. I'm a fisher. <laughs> Dude. I'm a fisher. Well, happy fisher That's season. my favorite song in the new Super album, by the way. Fisher. 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 Nice. Fisher. I think it's my favorite song, too. Yeah. Maybe, well, we're out of time, guys. we got to wrap up the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> Glad we could end on a fun note. No, but the point of this story is, if you're fishing or hunting, go get your Texas Parks and Wildlife license. It's way We support our game wardens, law Absolutely. enforcement, first responders, Except teachers, and parents. Yeah. Yeah. Except, Except Shane, Shane Dunaway. Dunaway. That guy can get a new career. <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Hey, hey don't forget hey, to pick up the new old Sleeper record. 
Yeah, check him out in Water December. Are you going to Europe in December? Going to we are. Plug that real quick. Oh, uh, we're going to Europe in December. There we go. Where else? <laughs> Anywhere else? Uh, Germany else? and uh, UK. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. I don't with? know the dates off the top of my head. With? With ourselves. Oh, okay. Awesome. It's a headliner. All right, right down below, right if you want to check out the O Sleeper handles, you can find O Sleeper on Facebook, Instagram. Go and Stormwall Inspections. Yeah. Stormwall Inspections. Yeah. We will be right back here next Tuesday, as we are every Ooh. Tuesday, 930 to 1030. Who's the guest next week? We have a great guest next week. Kylan has our calendar, so I need to go check and see. <laughs> Stay tuned. For Called that. you out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. We don't reveal it day of show. We reveal it day before. I do know yeah. this though. Go we ahead. are full all the way into November with yes. guests, so we have some exciting guests lined up. Shane Blay, the next that. five weeks. Yeah. yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Hey, I'll be a proxy. This is good. There you go. So thank you guys, everybody that tuned in today. You guys have been a blast. What a fun show. Man. We'll see you next Tuesday, 930 Central Standard Time, right here in Crowley on the Local Woo. Legend Show. Until next time, you guys stay awesome. Peace!